Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have two very massive items to talk about today. First of all, this loading screen. Road to the Final is starting on Friday, so I want to talk about that. We were expecting Road to the Final cards because we don't have any live cards right now. It just made sense for them to drop this promo this next week or two weeks, depending on how long it's going to actually be. But that promo is confirmed. I want to talk about that a little bit, just what Road to the Final is and how it might look different this year because it's starting way later than normal. But also talk about Icon Swaps 2. Yes, we have new packs added into the code talking about Icon Swaps or what we think will be for the Icon Swap Pack rewards. A lot of packs that give out Prime Icons, Prime Icon Moments. There's like a 92 plus uh, mid or prime pack, a 91 plus, a 92 plus, plus prime or Icon Moments pack. There's some big packs that are looking like they're gonna be coming out as a part of Icon Swaps too. So I wanna talk about all that. Of course, today's a big day for a potential player of the month SBC for Ben Yetter as well, but it's probably not gonna be cheap because fodder right now in this game is very, very high in price. So we're gonna talk about all of that today in the video. If you're hyped for Icon Swaps 2 and Road to the Final, hit a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this loading screen first of all. And what this tells us, I mean, this isn't like a super crazy loading screen unveiling a lot of information. We have three card designs here, Champions League, Europa League, and the Conference League, and telling us that Road to the Final starts on Friday. All these card designs are different. They look very similar to the ones that we had before in Road to the Knockouts, but they are indeed different, right? If you take a look like to the actual Road to the Final or Road to the Knockout card design, which these are going to get confused, by the way. People are going to get so confused about these different cards. But if you can kind of spot the small differences, you're going to be just fine. Uh, and of course, if you know it by the players, right? The players that are released out of RTTF are going to be different than Road to the Knockouts. So that's how you're going to be able to keep these things straight. But cards and packs this Friday, SBC's objectives. These live cards, they're always very hype. These are going to be some of the most fun cards to trade with over the next couple of weeks, as I'm assuming that EA is going to have to come up with a new way to upgrade these. Because in the years past, Road to the Final started in, you know, like in October or November, and it included some of the group stage hype in the buildup for qualifying for the knockout stage. But of course, we've already had Road to the Knockouts. And these cards that are dropped this weekend, we're going to have a brand new and different upgrade pattern because the games that have been played this last week, like the last two days, of course, with PSG winning and with Liverpool winning, just as two examples, that would have been one of the first upgrades that Road to the Finals in previous years received. So they're going to have to change the way they do upgrades this year for these cards. So that's going to be interesting to see how they do things since we're further along in the progression of the road to the final. So we'll be looking out for that sort of information. Uh, of course, we got the Conference League and the Europa League in there as well. And I think this is perfectly timed. And I think it's going to be a two-week promo. I think it is going to be two weeks because I believe that with the timing of these games, the second leg for you know the Champions League games that have been played already aren't for like three weeks. So that's a, that's a perfect time window for EA to run a two-week promo with cards and packs and then their first upgrade potential may be coming the week after or two weeks after they're out of packs. So I think that's well-timed by EA and this is going to be pretty exciting. Now, I will say that we don't have any leaks for this yet in, in terms of like players that are in. There's concepts and there's you know rumors and, and grumblings about what players might be in. But I think you're going to start to see some leaks for the road to the final team probably today. Um, just don't be surprised if you see some of that stuff. Probably in tomorrow's video, we'll have some more information. I do expect maybe a loading screen today on Road to the Finals, like updated with maybe some player stats or maybe on how they're going to get upgraded. Um, so we'll have to see what they end up doing with that. Now, the other thing that's being talked about a lot today is this. And this, of course, is the pack code that was added last night. And it has to be for icon swaps, right? If you take a look at some of these packs, 92 plus prime or icon moments pack, 91 plus mid or prime, 92 plus prime icon pack, just a prime icon pack in general. There's an 89 plus prime or icon moments player. These, in my opinion, I, and I think this, this is, these are not EA adding icon SBCs or not icon upgrade packs. It's way too early for these sorts of packs to be released as SBCs. 
they're going to be through icon swaps um and this really means that we are very close to icon swaps number two now what this also tells us is we are very close to icon moments which we knew about that but if icon swap packs are being put out into this game and we have code added for icon swaps which of course right now we don't have anything available in the game for swaps since all of that is over and done from icon swaps one um i would imagine that within the next week we should be getting the actual icon swaps in this game i don't know if it's going to be friday i don't know if it's going to be monday icon swaps one earlier on in december of this last year dropped on a wednesday so a really ra random time then it dropped right before winter wild cards on a wednesday so any day is really um, up for grabs here for when they're actually going to release icon swaps but friday or monday would probably be, be the two most uh, possible dates but in the next week it would make sense now one thing that will really tell us for sure when icon swaps is starting is when they add that swaps to token to the code because of course as of right now if you go in uh and you look at the card types uh, that are available to put, you know, into any SBCs. There's only icon swaps one. So when we start to see icon swaps two, or when that's added to the database, and we have some uh, tweets about that, then that's when we'll know icon swaps two is very, very close. Now, again, like I mentioned with these packs, including prime icon moments, I really think that icon moments could be this weekend. And if it's not this weekend, then it's next weekend. Um, but I'm, I'm really feeling strongly that it could be this weekend. So just be again prepared on how the icon market might change um, because of that. Now, one thing I'll also mention is, as you see down here, there's a couple very interesting packs that says guarantees and icon moments Canavaro. And there's another pack that guarantees and icon moments Gerard. I think there's some other stuff that's a part of this pack. Um, like I, I don't know what that is. I, I guess that means it's going to be a pack with an icon moments player. I'm really not too sure how that is. Um, and if you look into this, the second page of this, um, it says foot store pack 1120 icon moments Canavaro pack, uh, and then that's all that's in it. But then there's this 1121 pack, which is like um, start your foot journey with a welcome pack offer. So I don't know if this is for brand new players if they're running some sort of new pack. But you have these. You have this Icon Moments Canavaro and Icon Moments Gerard pack, which are very, very interesting. And I think some people imagine and think that those are going to be somehow leaks or the cards that you will get as a part of Icon Swaps. But I don't really think I've ever seen those before added as a pack. So that's why I'm very curious to see, as you see some of these guys here, um, looks like we'll be getting these as swaps very soon. I don't know what that is. That's interesting. So we'll see what it is. EA will probably talk about it. But one thing I'm going to say again, too, is that leaks, right? We haven't had a ton of leaks recently. I think the leakers are just kind of pulling back maybe a little bit and not, you know, saying everything that they see added to the game and added to the code from their leak sources. But it sounds like some of these guys have icon swap rewards. And if you remember from icon swaps one, like the whole rewards were leaked like three or four days early. So I would imagine that all the rewards for icon swaps two are going to be leaked as well so keep an eye out for twitter i really think twitter is going to be popping today on thursday and even tomorrow on friday with a lot of leaks as ea add stuff into the code as we get headed towards icon swaps and the road to the final promo so that is what is going on right now with a lot of build up with anticipation to some big things happening in this game in the next couple of days maybe the next week of course we have a set date for road to the final that's friday right that's tomorrow we know that but icon swaps, we don't really have a date for. So that's just kind of something to kind of be aware of. And again, watch out for leaks because I think the market and I think leaks are going to be very, very popping um, in the next day or two because of all that that is to come. And those leaks are going to be coming out. So, but let's talk about this market, right? We did get the party bag SBC finally yesterday, two days after it was added into the code. And the thing about it was it was repeatable. It was repeatable. Um, I only did it one time and I got, uh, I don't even remember who I got. It was so bad, but they upped the price for this one. They made it 85 and 85 squad is the cost instead of just an 84 squad. Um, so it was a bit more expensive to do this, but still so many people went out and did it. And the pack was basically just as bad as it was before, even though it included future stars team two players inside of it. Um, and fodder is so incredibly inflated in price if you bought any fodder last weekend when we were talking about how low it was this stuff is literally at max price 85s are like extinct at 15,000 coins on the market on the 
uh, on the PlayStation. 86s were extinct at like 22, 23K. Some of them were at least. 84s are like 5.5K a piece. Look at 88s. They're approaching 40,000 coins. Fodder is so, so high. Now, again, what I would say is I would be taking the cash on the stuff if you have not already, taking the cash on it very, very soon before tomorrow. I would even do it after rewards today, before marquee matchups, probably, because the longer you wait, the more people are going to keep selling and undercutting um, as they get towards, they know when fodder is going to drop with packs being open for road to the final and stuff like that. So I would be selling this fodder because it is so high in price. Look at, look at these 90 rated cards are almost 60 K. They're so high. So if you bought fodder, G freaking G's, you are in the big money. I know a lot of people made a lot of coins on fodder and that's a big GG if you did, but it is a sell in my opinion, with more supply coming on this weekend. Of course, uh, a couple other things going on with the market as well. Be careful with these future stars from team number two. Um, you know, sometimes we see cards from team two, like the cards from team one of future stars, they rose a little bit, right? A lot of, a few of these cards rose last Friday. I remember Emil Smith Rowe went from like 570,000 coins up to 630. You had cards like Konate uh, down at like 260 and he went up to like 300. And these guys are still up. Chalmany is 1-3. Wow, he is up big uh, because I think Ben Yedder is coming today. We'll talk about that in just a second as well. But Chalmany is up big time. He's also really rare as well. But a lot of these cards are kind of up. Not a lot of them. Some of them are kind of up in price. I'd be careful with Future Stars Team 2, though. Unless you want to buy one of these for your team and you don't plan on selling it for a long time, I'd be careful because I think that these might drop on the weekend because Road to the Final is always a very high promo. And especially if we have Icon Moments and Icon Swaps coming as well, whenever Icon Swaps comes out, there's always a little bit of a dip in the market because a lot of that gameplay demand goes from people trying to run and try out players to have their best A-team squad and division rivals, foot champs, and stuff like that. And some people just sell cards, get their coins, and they go do objective gameplay to get Icon Swap tokens completed. So usually you see a bit of a drop on the market when Icon Swaps is released. So I would just be careful with some of these cards. I know that some of them are very hype, very in demand, like Lacroix, Gravin Birch, Verts, um, especially like Kake Ray is 193,000 coins. Uh, again, he is up in price as we head into Thursday today because of the Ben Yetter SBC leaks uh, that is potentially coming out today. So just be careful if you're wanting to invest in some of these. But again, talking about content for today on Thursday, um, I really feel like the Ben Yetter is going to be today. The last few player of the months from the league on have been on Thursdays. There is a small chance that it could be tomorrow on Friday. Uh, but as you see that Chow many, very, very high in price, that makes me think that Ben Yetter, because, uh, you know, some people get this inside information earlier uh, than, than the, you know, the grand Twitter verse does. But keep an eye out for this Ben Yetter, because I think he did, it is confirmed he won player of the month. It's just a matter of when is his SBC dropping, and I feel like that could be today. But this SBC, regardless, is going to be expensive. But again, it's for a big name player, really meta in his FIFA, in every FIFA, right? Five star weak foot, four star skills, high low work rates. And the thing about player of the month SBCs as well is that they're out for like 20 or 30 days. So even if Ben Yedder comes out as very expensive today, there's going to be a lot of people that will try to complete him over the next month, basically, as he is out. Uh, and as he has an SBC in this game. So that's going to be a point of interest today on the market is this SBC if he does arrive. Again, as I mentioned, an updated loading screen. I think during Road to the Knockout as well, they released a loading screen that told us how the cards were going to upgrade. So again, you can see the, the different card designs that we have in here. The Road to the Knockouts design here has like the stadium in the background. The Road to the Final design on the loading screen does not have the stadium. Uh, the Road to the Knockouts UEL card doesn't have any flares on the side. And then same thing with the road to the knockouts for the conference league. It doesn't have those little like swirls around it. So the cards are very similar and it's going to confuse some people, but that's some of the differences that you see there. Again, another updated loading screen is what I would expect today. And then other content wise, I don't know about the reunion player pick. Uh, last Tuesday when they released it, it was, you know, repeatable. Uh, and then you could like re-up it on a timer. I did not do this one three times, so I don't know. 
if it's going to be like repeatable again today. I imagine that it might be, but I'm not going to do this one more time to find out because I'm not going to rinse any fodder into this. But maybe for you guys that have done it, look and see if you've done this three times, look and see if it says like another timer counting down towards today on Thursday at 6 p.m. where people will be able to do this again. I feel like there's potential in that. So just be careful. There might be another gamble SBC they could release today as well. The last thing to talk about in terms of content would be, are they going to drop more Future Stars tokens? They've released 28 tokens so far. And sometimes, you know, earlier on in the Future Star Swaps program when it was getting leaked, EA on their website said 28 tokens in total. Leakers said 30. We have all 28 tokens have been accounted for and released, I believe, right now in this game. After they released two yesterday, one of them inside of Silver Stars, as you can see right here. And the other one is inside of the brand new Future Stars Academy player, Mateus Nunez, which um, is in like this one right here. As you can see, Future Stars swap token is available in this seven and seven objective. By the way, this card looks pretty cracked. If you want to go and, and get it done, it says squad battles. I believe that all of these that say available to play in squad battles, I think you can do it in rivals too. It counts in rivals. It just doesn't say that it does. Don't, don't, you know, pin me on that that might be wrong but i believe that's how it's been for all these other objectives so maybe somebody who's been trying this and played some game games and rivals if you've kind of semi-completed any of these and have any progress on them without playing squad battles check that out i guess but that's how it's been for some of the other objectives they just don't put that or rivals parenthesis in there uh but back to the tokens we will see if they drop two more tokens today that's what i'm really curious to, to see if they do drop those last two tokens uh because that would get us to a full 30 and you know they've done tokens before as a part of the marquee matchups which we which we should be getting a new set of today on this game as well so it's going to be a very interesting thursday i know it's rivals rewards i got d1 rewards for the second week in a row not quite elite division yet almost there not quite we're working our way through hopefully we will get there very soon and uh, I'll get my first ever elite rewards this year. So that's kind of what we're aiming for. Now, market-wise and trading today as well, um, you know, oh, we have to talk about the, the headliner cards. Man, oh man, was yesterday a crazy day for headliners. And we can talk about market with this as well. Uh, of course, the big news is that EA updated Luis Diaz. And technically, by the books and by EA's terminology and the terms that they set out on their website, Luis Diaz should not have been upgraded, but they upgraded him because uh, I think they just went through and updated the Liverpool cards and they just said, oh, whatever, we're going to upgrade Luis Diaz as well. Now, this card was moving like crazy uh, earlier yesterday on the market. Um, and during the Champions League game, after he had some crazy price fluctuations, right when he got upgraded, I bought two of them at 120K, sold one for 200, sold another one for 177. And then during Champions League, he went low again. So I actually went out and picked up like 12 or 13 of them, right around 123, 124,000 coins. He is up in the 140s. I'm going to hopefully sell those on later today. Whatever price he wants to go to, I'll probably try to get them out there. Um, but that was a crazy headliner upgrade yesterday that we, we were not expecting. It's a W, right? Because he's way more hype and I think linkable and usable for most people as a Liverpool player, but technically still weird because it's not how it was supposed to go technically because he shouldn't have gotten his upgrade, but it is what it is. Not that big of a deal in all honesty, but again, Van Dyke with the upgrade, his price is down after that. Uh, Salat got an upgrade as well. I was able to flip one of those yesterday um, and I'm kind of just check, taking a look at his price right now where he has dropped down pretty low post upgrade. He was like 1.2 million coins with the upgrade yesterday and right now he's like 1.1. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on him and just keeping an eye on other special cards in general that I think could rise today on the market after rewards. Taking a look at Brazilians, right? Again, a lot of people are still doing that Neymar SBC and, and getting that done. So I'm, I'm watching guys like Marquinhos. So I'm watching some French um, icons, some League One players maybe have a little bit extra of a rise today after rewards since Neymar is still kind of all the craze and all the hype right now after that SBC was released on the weekend. Many people are probably going to try to get Neymar done with their rivals rewards today, or maybe they're trying to get some of the icon player pick, icon pack stuff done with rewards today as well. That's one thing that I'd be watching out for. Um, but, you know, I don't expect a huge market crash. Thursdays really aren't market crash days. I think you'll see some cards rise up a bit, um, but then we'll have to see what other sort of leaks come out 
that's what's going to affect the market today the most if i'm being completely honest if there are leaks that come out for road to the final cards you know players that are going to be in or content that they're going to do that's really what i would keep an eye out for and keep watching because that i think could impact the market the most today on thursday so that's going to be the video for today a lot of exciting things upcoming again road to the final icon swaps too a lot to talk about with that hopefully we get some more information on both of those things today on this game or maybe on leaks as well we'll be watching the twitter scene because i'm sure there will be some information released there as well so if you enjoyed the video and you're hyped for all of the stuff coming up make sure to hit thumbs up on it comment down below if you do have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it has been nate the foot account and i will catch you guys later peace out